Hello friends. So in this video, we will see responsive design using Tailwind CSS. See how Tailwind CSS can help us to create different different CSS design for different different resolutions and screen sizes. So let's start the video now. So if we are on Tailwind CSS official website, so we will go to the documents. So docu in documentation, we will go to responsive design. So as you can see, this is the responsive design. Okay. So Tailwind CS provide us some breakpoints for each device. Like you, if you guys can see, this is SM SM breakpoint for 640 pixel screen size, and then medium breakpoint for 768 pixel screen size, then large for 124 pixel size, and XL for 1280 pix uh, 1280 pixel, and 2XL for 1536 pixel. So these are the breakpoints given by Tailwind CSS by default. So we can use these uh, these breakpoints in our code, get our different different design according to the screen sizes. Okay, let me show you how we can do it. Okay, so we will go to our code. Okay, this, so this is a simple Tailwind CSS project right now. Uh, so if you want to, if you want to know how we can install Tailwind CSS, so I have already created a video for that for installing this Tailwind CSS. So you can refer that video or you can check my playlist for Tailwind CSS. I created a, a separate playlist for Tailwind CSS to uh, covering all the concept of Tailwind CSS. So you can go to that uh, playlist also. Okay, so I assume you have installed Tailwind CSS in your system or you can directly use this CDN also for Tailwind CSS and it will work for you. So now we will see how Tailwind CSS can use responsive design. Okay, so we will create a div. This is our div. Okay, so inside this div, I will give hello. Okay, now I will try to add some classes. So for adding some classes, basically, uh, if, if I go here, so let me show you one thing. Okay, so Tailwind CSS work on mobile first approach. Mobile first approach means default, uh, whatever you write CSS, it will apply for default for mobile devices, basically. So you don't need to, for small devices, you don't use SM to target mobile devices because by default, it will target for small devices. Okay, so if, and you have to make some changes for bigger devices. So default should be mobile. So this is called mobile first approach. So Tailwind follow this approach only. So we will just assume if I say BG, BG red, okay, BG red 500. Okay. So this is the color. So this, this will be the default color for now. Okay. Now we will try to hit the first breakpoint. Okay. So second will be, we have to use SM as I said. So SM means when we will hit 640 pixel breakpoint uh, or bigger screen then it will up this uh, css will be applied so if i say bg uh, blue bg blue 500 okay same so when our screen size will hit sm sm or we can say this is 640 pixel when our screen size uh, by default it will be red for every small screen size but once it will hit 640 or bigger so when it will hit 640 breakpoint so it, it will apply uh, blue color okay and then it if if you increase the screen side size and then it it will hit 768 screen size then this class will be applied so let me show you how okay so here if say md so this uh, okay i will tell you later okay so this is the bg then green bg green 500 okay and for large uh, large says uh, bg orange 500 okay and then for extra large we will see bg uh, what color should i choose pink okay 500 okay that's it and now we will uh, now we will apply some uh, padding also padding 8 and say text center text center okay okay that's done okay now if you see uh, now i will go and go to the uh, website and see we have given pink color for ex extra large size okay now we will try to hit different different breakpoints so we will go uh, we will open chrome inspector now we will go for this mobile devices here okay so now we will go for small screen size Okay, so this is our small screen size. So as I told you, so Tailwind CS followed the mobile first approach. So by default, we we added this BG Red 500. So this BG Red 500 will be 
apply to the smallest devices by default okay according to mobile first approach then we will hit sm breakpoint sm breakpoint means 640 pixel then it should apply for blue uh, background okay let me show you how just keep your eye on this one so this is the pixel we will we will be changing so now we will try to hit 640 then it should be uh, in blue color blue background okay now when we when we will hit 640 keep your eyes yeah okay just 640 here okay on 640 change color got changed it's uh, blue now okay as you can see and in next breakpoint mg medium so medium says 6 uh, sorry 768 it should green 768 on 768 it should be green if you see uh, yeah on 768 it will be green okay so it is hitting next breakpoint this is for medium screen breakpoint so guys this is how breakpoints work in tailwind css so on the given of these breakpoints we can write different different classes and each uh, class in uh, tailwind can be used with prefix uh, with these breakpoints so you can use any any of this this class with the name with the prefix like this okay so th all the classes are available with these all prefix and you can uh, set your breakpoint accordingly and create your response suite design with with the help of tailwind css breakpoints guys now we will see another example so in this example we will create some alignment according to the responsive design so let me show you how so i already have created this css so i don't want to waste your time so let's let me show you how it works okay so in this case i have used a grid grid class from tailwind css so grid says grid column one so by default the column one for all the smallest screen size it should show all, all these divs these are the 10 divs basically with the number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the divs and there, there is a parent div so inside this parent div i have given this grid class so all the uh, all the children should be aligned according to the grid so and the grid column should be 1 by default because smallest screen size it should be 1 and for for uh, this break, sm breakpoint so after 640 pixel it should convert to two column and after 780 is 7680 uh, pixel it should get converted to, to column 3 and then for larger screen it should be 4 and then 5 larger screen for 5 okay extra large for 5 so we will see how it works for alignment earlier we seen for the color change or uh, those those small small things now we will see how responsive design can do the alignment of the elements okay now okay guys so this is the uh, this is our div so if you can see these are the divs so for the smallest screen size alignment is on column one as i said grid column one okay so alignment is for one column only so this is one column for smallest screen size okay but if we increase the screen size like this for 640 it should divide to two yeah when i hit 640 here so it should divide into two now two columns are there and after 768 it should divide into three columns yes after 768 yeah after 768 it divided into two as you see okay divided into three uh, three now sorry and then if you increase then again it will divide in four and five okay like this okay so now you can see uh, okay we are on excel size so excel screen size so now it will divide into five columns so you you can see now uh, that we have uh, implemented design uh, background design and uh, then we have aligned our elements according to the responsive design with the help of uh, tailwind breakpoints so i think that's it for the video guys so i hope you understand how tailwind CS can help you to create beautiful responsive design with the help of uh, uh, already given classes in tailwind css if you have any question or something you can ask in the comment section and if you like the video please comment subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and i will see you in my next video thank you so much guys